The system of modern 406 megahertz satellite EPIRBs became operational in 1989. Designated as Category 1 or automatic and Category 2 or manual, these units operate on a dedicated rescue frequency to provide worldwide all-weather distress signaling capability. The 1995 introduction of GOES, or Geostationary Earth Orbiting Satellites, gave the system instantaneous signal recognition from virtually anywhere on the globe. Today, activating a 406 megahertz EPIRB provides authorities with all of the information contained on the owner's EPIRB registration and identification card within six to ten minutes. Data from polar orbiting satellites gives them the EPIRB's precise position as soon as the satellites are in proper orientation. Depending on your location, this occurs within a period ranging from a matter of minutes to a few hours. An older system of Class A and Class B units broadcasting at 121.5 and 243 megahertz remains operational. These are civilian and military distress frequencies that are monitored by satellites and aircraft. While the older units still work, they don't offer all of the benefits of the 406 megahertz system. The older EPIRB system leaves large portions of the world entirely unprotected and the shared broadcast frequencies suffer from interference and false alarms. Class A units no longer satisfy regulatory requirements and should be used only for backup. Class B units remain popular options primarily as personal units for mariners whose vessels operate in covered areas. Before you rely on one of the older units, be sure you understand its limitations. EPIRBs are designated as either automatic or manual. Automatic units must be installed in a manner that permits them to float free from a sinking vessel. Once freed from the canister or mounting bracket, an automatic EPIRB turns itself on and assumes a correct operating position. Automatic units incorporate manual switches for activating or disarming the EPIRB. Manual units must be switched on by the user. In either case, the signal is relayed to a rescue coordination center. While the old 121.5, 243 megahertz system enables authorities to determine the location of an EPIRB signal, the more stable signal provided by the 406 megahertz system provides greater accuracy and greatly improves the chance that you'll be found quickly.